Hello and welcome. I'm Barry Winvold and this is Tiny Cast number six. And today, a question. Do you love or like someone too much to tell them the truth? Yes, do you like or love someone too much to tell them the truth? That's a question that came up yesterday with somebody from somebody I was talking to. And it got me thinking, because we all do that, don't we? Let's start with the love bit. Let's start with the close interpersonal relationship, the person you depend on most in your life, the person you love, live with, whatever, the person who is your closest living relative, perhaps, or your closest companion. Often, we see things in our partners we're not too keen on. Um, and we kind of, well, sensible people roll with it and just learn to adapt because actually you've got just as many annoying habits as they have and they're learning to tolerate your, yours as you tolerate theirs. And over time, when you get safer in the relationship, maybe you reciprocally iron a few out or maybe just out of the goodness of your heart let's say you have an annoying habit when you're eating or you happen to start every sentence with so or there's just something that irks the other person or that doesn't show you in a particularly good light and you might want to iron that out on the other hand there may be things in your partner that you think i just don't feel safe approaching this but it's beginning to bother me to a point where it could eventually threaten the relationship or as happened with somebody I was speaking to recently they'd actually got into an abusive relationship and they hadn't read the early warning signs so the question to inspire a bit of thought is you know are you holding back from saying something you really think you should say for your own well-being but also for the well-being of the relationship that's part one part two is is there something going on with the other person that is actually a bit of a red flag and if you step back and think about it now i don't want to break any relationships up here that's not what i'm about but every difficult relationship or abusive relationship starts small it starts with the little steps that you think you can brush over or wash over. And I've done that in two business, two quite long term business relationships in my own life. And I ignored the red flags. I ignored the signals. And I thought, yeah, they know really. They'll change or whatever it was. And it was just a cop out. It was preventing me from stepping forward and being brave enough to say to the other person, look, I don't think that was ethically correct or that's not something I want to happen in our business together, whatever it happens to be. And we'd have talked it out. So really, I'm pointing to the fact that relationships should be mature enough to talk about this stuff. And what about if it is a work or business relationship? I said like or love. Maybe it's somebody you like, or maybe even somebody, your boss, your manager, you depend on for your job security. Who knows? Is there something you're not able to say, you feel you're not able to say? And the critical part here, I think, is... What we feel about it, if you feel you're not able to say it, that warrants a bit of inspection. And I guess you could grade it. It might be, well, it does bug me, but I can live with it, and this job is too important. Or, well, it bugs me a lot, it really bothers me, and actually this is kind of indicative of the culture of the organisation, and how will I be in a year, two years, three years, if I stay here, am I going to be respected? Am I going to be appreciated? Because any relationship, professional, private, personal, love, what, however you want to frame it, any relationship should be balanced. Even if there's hierarchy, even if the person is your managing director, you still should feel free to have equality of voice in that relationship. And by that, I mean professionally. I'm not suggesting you go to your managing director and say, Oh, there's something I really don't like about you. Uh, yeah, probably not a good plan. So thought for the day is there, do you love or like someone too much to tell them the truth? What an idea to explore. This has been Tinycast number six. I'm Barry Winbolt. You can find me on YouTube, on um, all the usual podcast platforms. Have a great day. Share it if you can. And uh, all the best. See you next time. Well, See, I mean, I'll speak to you next time.